Hello, my name is Elizabeth Doherty Thomas. I am co-founder of the Doherty Relationship Institute. In today's video, I want to talk about what a lot of us probably um, discussed in graduate school as we were learning different theories and models was experimenting with going inside one theory um, of human nature and seeing the power of it. But then when we learn a second theory, and we learn the power of it, then we're like, okay, how does that relate to the other theory? And what's missing? What's highlighted? And honestly, when you survey clinicians, most people say they're eclectic because it actually does take more than one theory to explain human behavior, particularly in a marriage context. So if you're looking for kind of more handles, more um, theor theoretical groundings, not just with the complexity of marriage. So yes, attachment's important. Um, differentiation is important, how people communicate is important, um, but so is how the three people, the clinician and the couple, work together to create a meaning. Like, what is this couple's therapy? What is sessions like? Um, who has permission to lead it? Who has permission to call into question the topic? All of these things require, in our view, different um, theories to get at the complexity. So attachment theory doesn't deal with power and control, but that's a huge element of relationships. Differentiation um, may lose a systemic understanding and a cultural understanding of what actually kind of maintaining your boundaries looks like depending on the cultural context and the signal signals you're sending um, based on a deeper relational context. Communication skills are essential, but they alone miss out on a lot of other systemic issues and they can miss out on the boundary invasion. Um, and the, the running joke, right, is is the, the worst of communication is to not say you're a jerk, but to say, I feel you're a jerk, right? I mean, nobody does that, but that's an example of the little wisdom we all have that communication skills alone miss out on that little je ne sais quoi of, of communication, right? Kind of the, not just the nonverbals, but the boundary invasion, um, where if if I'm coming to couples therapy, I have con contributed and I need work to do. It can't just be fix my spouse. So if you like theory and you really are looking for more ways to conceptualize what you're seeing in the room, um, some really funky interaction patterns that some of your couples have, I highly recommend checking out the DohertyApproach.com. It's a great, complex, but yet simplified way of viewing humans and of really getting in there and right away in session one, starting to help couples immediately in their marriage.